Hi everybody and welcome to my shop. This is our Friday video. Uh, this week we're not live, we're pre-recorded because our videographer John is uh, on vacation right now. But uh, you still can get your questions answered just like you could during one of our normal live events. If you just put your questions down in the comments section, I'll be answering them. Uh, also want to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, whether we have a live video or a recorded video, you'll always know about it right when it comes up. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Woodpecker's Hook Rules. That is our current one-time tool offer. They're available for sale for a couple more weeks. And we're going to show you the features and benefits of those tools today. Helping me out with that is the newest member of the marketing team here at Woodpecker's Tools. I'd like you to welcome Jay Mowder. 6,500 of you already know Jay because you watch him on Instagram. You know that he's a very accomplished filmmaker as well as a very accomplished woodworker. And he's going to be helping us out at Woodpeckers. Jay, welcome to the team. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Thanks for the warm welcome. Um, don't hype me up too much, though. Uh, okay. I don't them, All right. Uh, you know, <laughs> think too much of me. <laughs> so, Jay, what's your first impression of the hook rules? My first impression, Jeff, is pretty obvious. It's the hook. We got the hook at the end of a stainless steel rule. And what is the advantage of this? It's an instant zero reference every time, super quick. Place it on your board, pull it so the hook touches the edge of your stock, and there you go, instant zero. So you know that you're always registered off the edge of the board. Yes. So that's a great advantage with the hook. Um, when I produced the uh, sales video for this, we obviously talked about that, and I talked about this, the fact that a tape measure theoretically does the same thing. You've got a hook that hooks on the ed <clears throat> edge of the board. The difference is this is one solid piece of steel, and the hook on the end of a tape moves. Now, I received some criticism on the video because they said, of course it moves, it's supposed to. And they're exactly right. That is supposed to give you inside measurements and then outside measurements. The problem is, after doing that about 15 or 20,000 times, that isn't at the same point anymore. The hook rule, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. So it gives you a very, very long-term, lifetime, two or three lifetime, perfect reference for zero on your piece. Jay, did you notice that the other side is not graduated the same way? Yes, I did. So I the that. other side, the zero point is at the other end of the rule. So Jay, the, the measurement coming from the plain end of the rule is a real advantage when we want to measure an inside corner. Okay, I can get my scale right in tight where the hook is going to be in our way and keep us from getting that inside measurement. That is beneficial. All right, so now we've got the advantages of a square in rule and the advantages of a hook rule in the same tool. So Jeff, tell me a little bit more about how these are actually made. Uh, Jay, when we make a tool like the hook rule, uh, the cutting of this, these aren't stamped out. These are actually cut with a computer controlled laser. Uh, and then also very important is the graduations on here are not printed. Those are laser engraved. You can actually feel that with your thumbnail. You can feel that that's actually below the surface uh, and it's, it's uh, done with a very, very accurate laser system. So what's the scale we have on the end of the hook rule? So the scale is also uh, graduated on the end. And John, let's uh, step over here to the router table. So the graduations on the end make it really easy to come in here and adjust the height of a router bit. Or over on the drill press, we could be checking the depth of our drill bit. So I love that uh, in graduation feature. I do want to go back and talk a little bit more about the graduations from the square end of the rule. Let's go over to the table saw, take a look at what this feature does for us over here. So Jay, what did you think about this the first time you used it on a table saw? I remember we used it just the other day and um... I instantly was just like, why haven't I done this before? And I'm used to using the, the tape measure. It's really flimsy. 
I don't like it. This is much more accurate. Gives me a really accurate reading. So, like we were saying before, we're working from an inside corner. Okay, that's basically between the table and the fence. That's that inside corner. That's the perfect tool to measure from that. And we can come up with very precise measurements from the fence to the blade. So Jeff, please tell me, I know people are gonna be in the comments asking, why aren't you just using the scale on your fence to measure instead of whipping this out? Uh, good question. Uh, I probably worked on 150 table saws uh, in my life, Jay, and I can say that probably two of them had a scale that actually worked. Uh, most of them are way off the mark. Every time you change the blade, the scale changes. It's just not something that you can depend on. It'll get you close most of the time. Close is but it's good not, enough. Close is not good enough. So I always double check with a steel rule. And I can tell you after working with this one that from now on the steel rule that I'm going to use is Woodpecker's new hook rule. I love being able to work from the end reading away from my fence and I love having that hook that gives me a perfect positive reference from the edge of my piece. So Jeff, these hook rules, they're fantastic. Why on earth are these only a one-time tool? Well, Jay, the one-time tool program gets a lot of criticism because we have a lot of really great tools that we put on there. But that's also how we've made a lot of one-time tools. Uh, the one-time tool program allows us to the, present this tool to the customers and we can take orders for them. We make exactly the number that we need to make. Then we can move on and do something else that's just as nice as this is. So, you know, it allows us to make a much wider offering of different tools. That makes sense. So what if, what if once this gets retired one day and I find it on your website and I want it back, how do I get this back? Well, the, the most of our tools have been around at least for two or three offerings. Okay. Uh, there's a system at the bottom of each one-time tool page that shows you how to vote. And that vote is very critical to getting a tool back into production. So if there's something that you want, go on the website, click on that vote button, and that will bring it back up for a reissue. Okay, so those votes are actually paid attention to. Absolutely. The votes matter, at, that's what you're The, the to. votes do matter. Okay. That's, that's how we decide which of these tools that's are re-released. How many sizes are these available in? And the big question, is it available in metric? Uh, they are available in metric. We have three sizes, the six inch and the metric equivalent, 12 inch and the metric equivalent, and the 24 inch and its metric equivalent. Perfect. So we got three different sizes. Three sizes. Okay. So everyone's going to be like, well, why do I need three? What is your favorite use for each size? You know what? Uh, in the shop, I always had this little six inch in my pocket. Okay. Oh, wow. That fits good. There you go. It, and it's ready to go whenever I need it. The 12 inch is on my bench most of the time because it's just really handy. And my 24 is always close by my table saw because there's nothing better than having that full rigid 24 inch rule to set up my rip fence. Awesome, so you can do a lot with these hook rules. These are fantastic. They're, they're a fantastic rule to have in your shop. Well folks, thanks for watching today. Jay, thanks for coming in and helping out today. No problem, thanks for having me. Hey, be sure and subscribe to the channel so you'll always know about our videos. Be sure and be here next Friday when we'll take a deep dive into another Woodpecker's Tool.